fam. It's your homeboy Mag three five seven guns. Let's get this. Uh, let's do this weeding right quick. So I'm gonna keep this black scrap when it's done. And I'll be able to probably, you know, put it down and make something else out of it. But at the end of the day, I always keep my vinyl scrap because you never know what you might need it for. You might need to fix something. And vinyl on top of vinyl will fix it. So there you have this. And... Now we gotta do this 23. And this 23 is very, very detailed. So here's a such thing as messing this up. You know what I'm saying? So what we're gonna try to do is not mess it up. That's why I started it a little bit. So and it's gonna be tough, but I'm gonna try my best. So what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go this way with it first. And then once I flip it over, you'll know what it's supposed to be. Okay, so right here, we're gonna stop and grab it here. Then we get to go the other way. The two is like the most hardest part to get right. Because it goes and do all kind of stuff. So it will teach you <laughs> how to do it. So just follow what it lets you do. And whatever it doesn't, it just doesn't. So we got it, right? Now we're done with this. That super sticky mat. They make it pink. I'm not responsible for that. I just have to use it. So I'm going to use it. And I'm going to line everything up. So. Got two, three right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it around so I can see it. And then I'll flip it over when it's done or something like that. Or as I'm going. <laughs> it, it fell off. Okay, so what we're going to do. Up, we at the home home stretch now. It is, is what it is once we get this on. So I make sure that this is like a really, really key part of this. It's getting this right. might have to see me hold it because it's not sticky it's not sticky at all so you got to kind of come in and So we're just going to do it piece by piece. That way we can get it on, get it right. And I 
gonna peel it up or nothing. See how this the other part is down. And what we're concerned about is this is straight. We need to pull this side as tight as we can pull it before we lay the arms and the legs down. Okay, so we got it. And all we do is just lay it like that. Nothing to it. This would be like the uh, bread 11. So we're doing a custom for somebody. I'm just going to keep going because after a while, It'll lift up on itself when it's done completely um, adhered and stuff. So that's what you want. Let this material teach you how to use it. And then what I have up under it is what they call a ham. I don't know why they call it that. But it ain't nothing but like <laughs> shirt. It could be a shirt or a towel. That's balled up so you can keep this shape. Otherwise, trust me, it's not going down trying to glue it. I mean, uh, you know what I'm saying. I'm trying to do it any other way, but like this. So this is the best way. Alright, so right here I'm going to worry about this ball on that basketball. Now watch this. I'm gonna turn this up just a hair. I'm just gonna let that sit for a minute because uh I want it to stay down. I don't wanna have to keep ironing on it. I think we're good as far as that goes. Um And then we're just going to drop that two, three, right up under the lid there. And no, it was not supposed to be on that middle of the line. We're only going by the point right there. See, it's off a little bit, but we're going by this point. That's the point of the nose right there. Now, it was very important to get that part right because the, the line itself really doesn't matter. And then, yeah, this is perfect. No pieces are lifting up. I'm checking it out as I'm going. So let it cool down so it stays down. You try to peel it while it's hot, you're going to end up peeling it up. So right here, the 2-3 is now about to be put on. Now, we got we to gotta worry about these wrinkles right up under here.
So, uh, right here, we're going to have a somewhat of a problem. And it's going to be because we don't have enough. It's very important to get this on here tight because when it flexes, the image is going to flex. So let me focus more of the tightness down here on the bottom. Okay, and then pick it up. It's going to be a minute because I got to get this right because I'm going to put it down once and be done with it and don't have to worry about it flexing and moving on me. All right, so we got it where we want it. This middle piece. That happens to everybody too, right? Like, I mean, because you gotta think when something is at some point it's like because you know you got you got out there some shit you ain't even thought of. You know what I'm saying? So like when you start to get something in there and you think about what it is that cause I hope that this, I'm getting this on the camera, but I have to stick with it. Just to show you you have to have this tight. Because if it wrinkles and flips up under there, this is not going to be a 23. It's going to be a... You know what I'm saying? So, so in order to get it right, you have to have it tight. Notice that I'm not ironing left and right. I'm kind of just letting it sit there. I got my heat turned down so I have more control. If somebody else wouldn't do this, that's fine. Don't do it then. But I guess what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it. Looking at $27 right here. Because this is going to have to be shipped in the whole nine. So, when we get done... We're going to keep it just like this and let it, we don't want it to flex and do anything else. We're going to leave it just like how we got it. Now, when you got these little small lines like that, this is why you don't iron left and right. You want to press it, leave it, press it, leave it, and press it, and leave it. Because you can move those apart from each other. Trust me, I've done it before. I got an m, &M mask that I made, and I went to, before I... Before I even knew it, it was just second nature and messed that thing up. So, but I wore it anyway. I was not going to make another one. 
Cause that means I had to start all the way over with the stitching and the whole nine again. No. <laughs> Bugs Bunny with the tongue out. No. It's not happening. So right here, it's gonna peel up just a little. And then when you peel up, you wanna kinda get that whole little panel to come with it. And everything's looking good. Looking good, looking good, looking good, looking good. And bam. So you see what I'm saying? And when we pull it apart. We have our mask. I think you need to see it that way with the, uh, and all I can see is, is a tank top. <laughs> and I just shaped it enough to, because I mean, that's how, that's how you get it on that straight. If not, it's not going to work. There's no way you can get this and sit it on here and try to, see what I'm saying? Like, how would you do that? How would, no, it's not going to work. So. This is the how you do it. Appreciate y'all for watching the video. It's your homeboy Mag Three Five Seven Guns. Hit me up if you can see something. You say something about it, man. Come on, get 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 with me. I'm doing a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Um, got another thing I'm gonna finish up on here in a little bit. I got a welcome sign that I'm doing for a beauty salon. So, I've got the initial epoxy paint glue situation put on it. We're just going to make sure that we get the uh, the welcome on it and get it on there correctly. Sean Boy Mag, 357 Guns. Stay tuned. One.